Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, Nicole. Uh, you are the marketing advisor at Canon Solutions America. Um, and uh, first of all, I just want to tell you, thank you so much. I spent a lovely, amazing four days last week at the Think Ahead event. Um, and I just want to really thank your team from the bottom of my heart. I think that the care that you all took in making sure that everybody felt comfortable uh, that everybody, uh, it was outside, it was breezy, uh, you know, that we weren't, you can and made, and think made, the think form people made a, a, a conscious effort not to have everybody at once, but mm -hmm. to have two separate events that I was fortunate enough to be able to stay for, for both. But um, it was such an amazing way to ease back into it. And the way that you set up the sessions, it was just relaxing, informative. And I must say, I really hope that you do somehow publicly release Francis's um, McMahon's session. session. But it was by far, I think, one of the most meaningful things I've, I've ever seen in the printing industry. Can you please tell everybody a little bit about what Francis spoke about? And then I know that you want to, uh, you have some more information to share with them. Sure. Yeah. So, so hi, everyone. Uh, Nicole Tully from Canon. And Deborah, I'm so happy to hear that that was your experience last week, because that's really what the Canon team and the Think Board was going for. It's such a sort of delicate balance now because we've all been in virtual events like this and in the past 18 months, but there is, there are so many people in our print world who now want to get together in person, but we need to do that safely. So we were trying to walk that fine line and, you know, from what we heard from all of our customers and attendees, it seems like we hit that. And that's kind of what the spirit of today is. That's what the spirit of International Print Day is. It's just bringing everyone together so we can figure out, you know, what's going on in our industry, what can make our customers successful in their businesses and share it with everyone. You know, Think has always been about sharing. That's what we're doing here today. And it's about, you know, not just keeping all the secrets to ourselves, but helping everyone in our printing industry so we can grow this collective world of print. Same for International Print Day. So we were really excited about that event. And the one session in particular was led by our executive vice president, Francis McMahon. And, you know, I'm internal to Canon. And what was so cool about that presentation was it was all about brand and how developing a very strong company culture that's driven by your mission and your vision will help to keep all your employees on the same page, allow them to harness their creativity. So it's all moving in the same direction. And ultimately it gives you a better customer experience at the end of the day. And it's generally what keeps your customers loyal to you and coming back for more. And what's cool about that is, you know, any marketing executive, any vice president at a company could give something like that. But Francis actually lives that. And that's what he drives in our production print group. I've sat in meetings where he's talking about our vision and our mission and how it all comes back to serving our customers. And so it's something that he shared with everyone who attended Think, but it's also something that we live day to day at Canon. And so it was really cool to see how people responded so positively to it. Yeah, uh, and just to let you know how they responded, uh, because you know the printers tell me everything. Um, <clears throat> they they actually had an epiphany that they spend so much time worrying about their customers' brand, protecting their mm -hmm. customers' brand, that they realized that they might not have figured out who they are as a company, and therefore that causes confusion or a, a, a misalignment in what employees might be saying about the company. Um, if I ask you who Canon is, I'm going to pretty much bet that your answer is going to be the same, uh, very close to Tanya Powers, very close mm -hmm. to uh, Valentina Melody, who just won the Girls Who Print Rising Star Awards for their initiative that they took am upon, among themselves to create a, a program in an environment that, uh, is going on at your company, uh, which mm -hmm. is really about empowering uh, the brand is 
who's got a good idea, who can make it happen, who's yeah. going to take ownership of it. And it, and it manifested. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? The university inkjet program? Sure. So, um, you know, uh, Deborah mentioned, we have two females on our team, Valentina and Melody, who actually came from the graphics communication program at Clemson University. So they went to school for graphics communications and came into the printing industry with us at Canon. And they came up with this idea on their own because going back to what we were talking about earlier, print isn't as exciting for that younger generation and it's a misconception. And so their goal was to share more information about print teach the younger generation about things like production inkjet technology, designing for inkjet, but also educate them about the career opportunities within the printing industry. So they came up with a lecture series. They partnered with the these first Clemson University. Now it's expanded to RIT. They partnered with their graphics communications program to develop a curriculum around printing industry We've done, we've given guest lectures from various Canon employees. We've pulled in the Think Board to give guest lectures. And we've also sponsored an interactive project where the students get a chance to design print applications that we can then bring to life uh, from Canon. And it's very cool for them to see their work come to life, but also to open up this world of potential career opportunities that maybe they had never considered. So that's been a really cool program. It's been fun to be a part of, and we hope we can expand to future universities. And it's so vitally important. Uh, when we were doing the Project Peacock visits, and, and mm -hmm. uh, Canon is a Project Peacock pioneer. You guys were there. Tanya Powers was standing next to me when I came when we had the when I had the idea. But um, what we we visited the Design Institute of Austin, and we were with the senior class who told us they had never output any of their designs on any print yeah. device. Yeah, and I I mean I people know I'm not exactly calm sometimes, and I was just like with at the teachers going, "What in God's name is going on here?" And they're like, "Nobody helps us. We we don't have the money to to send out for it. We don't have the equipment." So. Things like this are so super important. And um, I know that marketing is a, is a true passion of yours. And this event is all about print again. And I know you have some stuff to say. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Yeah, so um, I was really excited to hear the theme for tonight, the print again, because coming on the heels of our Think event last week, this is what we heard our customers talking about. And what's interesting is that we're hearing this from our customers, but we're also seeing how they are selling print again and how they're evolving with the times. So, you know, Richard earlier was saying that you have to follow the advertising dollars. That is so true. And what our customers are saying to us is they're having as many digital conversations as they're having print conversations because they're talking about how the channels work together and how they can seamlessly flow, but how you can really use print as a very strong activation channel and use it as something that stands out. And one of the things that really struck a chord for me at Think last week was one of our customers, good um, DS Graphics and Universal Wild, they were talking about how they have evolved over the years to really being like a full marketing services provider centered around print. So they have figured out how to do emails. They're doing ROS online retargeting to mailing lists. They also figured out how in the pandemic to match B2B uh, distribution lists that were previously mailing to office locations match that to those people's home addresses so they could still serve their B2B clients, but reach them at home. How else would you do that without being able to leverage print and the postal service? They also were talking about, and this is where I got an idea that I would love to use. They were talking about using voice activation from Amazon Alexa activated from a direct mail piece. So they're printing on the envelope say, you know, Alexa, show me such and such. And so now they're mailing you something, but they're also incorporating a voice and potentially video activation that goes with that mail experience. And so what so many of our progressive customers are doing is they're almost blurring the lines of where the print and digital world is. And that's 
kind of the best of print. That's what we all have to come together as an industry and figure out how to sell and figure out how to inspire brands to take advantage of because we are seeing print come back in ways that we haven't really seen it in the past decade. Book sales are up. I'm already starting to get catalogs for this year's holiday seasons. And then just last year, I got in my house a postcard from NBC. And, you know, I'm a millennial. I don't remember the last time major networks were advertising in the mail. This was the first I'd ever seen. And it kind of blew my mind. But NBC rented a postal list and did a nationwide postcard campaign to promote an upcoming launch of a TV. So it's coming, right? We're printing again. Our customers are selling it. At Canon, we're making the equipment to support them in doing so. And it's, I think it's an exciting time to be a part of this industry. That is actually really cool about, about NBC. And it makes so much sense because, I mean, I don't watch commercials. I don't know. No. I, I don't know what's, I, I just realized I missed like a couple seasons of Survivor because I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't even go on network television anymore. I just watch everything, you know, when I want to. That's very interesting. I think I'm going to, I think I, I, I know Sandy Hubbard's in the platform. I'm doing a print chat on that, uh, Sandy. Um your experience center. Oh, we just went uh, your, the innovation center, excuse me, uh, you changed the name. Uh, the, it was incredible. Uh, can anybody get in there? How, how, do, how do people get to see all the amazing things that you can do um, and all those, and you have a new press too in there? Yeah, so, so we officially opened last summer, but we haven't had a ton of people down there because of COVID. And with COVID protocols still in place, unfortunately, we can't open it up to everyone. We have been able to invite some customers down. We were able to show to all of the Think attendees uh, just last week. And we, conti- we will continue to invite customers and prospects over the next year. Uh, it is very cool, I will say. It's massive. We have all of our production equipment in there, as well as some of our large format and office solutions in there. But we have all of our production inkjet presses, our toner presses, as well as finishing. Uh, We've got all different types of media testing going on there. And what we unveiled at Think was what we're calling our print innovation wall, which was a massive wall with customer applications, some applications that we have printed ourselves at Canon that really just show the best of the best. And we're hoping that it inspires us all, inspires our customers. And what's cool about the Innovation Center that we heard last week was it looks like an actual print room. It looks like an actual print floor with a lot of Canon branding going on there, going back to Francis's uh, discussion. So it's been really exciting. It's fresh, it's innovative, and it's gonna make for a great environment for our industry. And I can't invite everyone there in person, but we do have a virtual tour video that's a couple minutes long that I can drop into the chat box for anyone who wants to see more. How cool is that? Thank you, Nicole. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, I just want to thank you so much for, for your support, uh, for, for everything over the years. Uh, we've known each other for, for quite some time. We actually went to the Canon Expo in New York together. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, that's that, right. By the way, where is that damn interactive video wall. I still remember the conference room that you could yeah, do like yeah. virtual. Wait, get get somebody on Canon on that. I can't believe it's not, I, I it's will, not I'll out send already. An email. I'll let thank, them know. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I just really want to thank you for everything. Um, Canon has a booth on Project Peacock. You can go in there and uh, send an email to any of the contact lists if you want any more information. But what is the website we're sending people to? If you want to check out our production print solutions, visit pps.csa.canon.com. Bit of a mouthful, but that'll take you to customer videos, case studies, and you can learn more about our products as well. Excellent. And you could also just pop in the booth and click on the link. That's a lot easier. Yes, just that's saying. probably the easiest way. Yes. Uh, Nicole, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to yeah, bring happy on to be Brad. Here. Thanks, happy, everyone. Talk to you later. Happy International Print Day. Likewise. Bye. And we're going to bring in Bradley from uh, Direct Mail 2.0. Where are you, sir? Uh, 